Hey guys, what's up? Welcome and welcome back to my channel, LaMonica's Lab, if you're new. Today in the lab, I'm going to be doing a skincare haul. This stuff I've had in my collection, I just wanted to gather it all up and give you guys some idea of what I'm using in my skincare regimens. And also, I have some new products in here that I've never tried. So that's why if you saw in my Sephora wish list, I didn't talk about skincare because I have a lot of skincare products that I'm currently using and I have a lot of skincare products that I haven't even opened yet. So with that being said, if you're new to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up for more hauls. And if you want to see what's in this skincare haul, then stay tuned. All right, guys. So <clears throat> I did a poll on my community tab. Again, I, I try to stay active on this so I can see what you guys are thinking about, what you guys want to see, and things like that. So that's how we can talk and chit-chat. We also can chit-chat in the comment section below. So I really do appreciate you guys' feedback. And those of you who are voting, thank you so, so much. So in this particular skincare haul, these are skincare products that I currently use, but I'll tell you about it, and I have some new ones that I'm excited to try. Um, but, you know, having a lot of skincare products, when you are going through them, you don't want to open up so many different things because then it's like you just waste a product because it's not even open yet. So, and as you guys know, if you didn't know, I don't know, if, let me see. Yeah, skincare has it too, but there's a little, little jar on the bottom of makeup and on skincare products that has a lid up and it has a number and an M meaning the month so for this particular item once I open it that's 12 months once the 12 months is gone no matter how much I've used it needs to be thrown out like hygienically like that's what you have to do so that's why I try not to open up a lot of skincare products so anywho enough of me rambling on as to why I didn't open up some of this stuff I'm gonna start with some products that I use right now that I talk to you guys about all the time if you don't follow me on Instagram definitely follow me on Instagram the Instagram link will either pop up here or to be it is in the description box below so I use this set right here that is so bomb this is the Kiehl's calendula deep cleansing foaming face wash I love this stuff I haven't even hit pan on here yet I don't know if you guys can see it but it's right here but I love this this is a nice moisturizing smell so good foaming cleanser and it's like it just lathers up I love that it's like a soapy consistency not one of those thin watery foams I can't stand those types of cleansers I feel like it's not cleansing anything this one's more of a soapy one so I feel like it's actually doing something and then I also have the calendula um, herbal e extract toner It's alcohol free it's for normal to oily skin all of these products are really good for all skin types so don't think that you can't use this if you have oily skin if you have dry skin, you definitely should be trying to use this. It has calendula plant in here, which is going to keep the skin calm, smooth, really hydrated. So this is the toner, and I love this. It has actual, like, calendula plant in here, which is helping um, relax the skin, like I said, calming it, keeping it smooth and hydrated. And then they recently came out with a calendula serum-infused water cream, but now there's something else that came out. But this one I use sometimes as well if I'm not using my other moisturizers. This is like a moisturizer, so it's similar to the Tatcha water cream this one is definitely a thinner uh consistency it's not a thick consistency so if you have oily skin and you feel like i don't want to like gunk up or you know pile on too many products you should definitely give this water cream one a try it has calendula plant in it as well so it's going to calm soothe and smooth out your skin while keeping it hydrated also all right you guys heard me talk about this one before as well i use this probably like twice a week three times a week depending on right now i have a small breakout right here um, so I've been using this a little bit more but this is the uh, fresh sugar strawberry exfoliating face wash gently refines and softens it's a really gentle exfoliating wash it's not one of those harsh like scrubbing ones that you're gonna feel like dang my face is so dry like I gotta do something else this one actually dissolves on the skin while keeping your skin moisturized so that's why I love it and it smells like strawberries like who doesn't like comment below if you love strawberries I love strawberries so comment below a strawberry emoji if you like strawberries if you want a gentle exfoliant and you're new to exfoliating your skin which we should all do at least once or twice a week no matter your skin tone type or texture exfoliating definitely removes that excess debris that environmental like polluting of pollution of the air it removes that dead skin so that's what the exciting part about exfoliating so if you don't want something that's too harsh or you feel like you're gonna break out definitely look into the fresh one It's really good for sensitive skin as well I have sensitive skin so I love this stuff like I said once you lather it up on your face you want to wet your face first lather it up on your face 
and keep going in circular motions around those areas. I kind of do it like right here because this is the area where I have most of the um, my hormonal or breakout from stress or whatever the case may be. So I tend to do it right there and it dissolves so nicely and you just rinse it off and your face doesn't feel like dry and cracked up. It just feels so smooth and squeaky clean. So I love that. Something else I always use, always have in my collection is the Clinique Moisture Surge. You guys heard me talking about the 72 hour one that comes in a pump. This one's actually in a jar and this one gives me so much hydration. I wore this today all day with this makeup. So definitely look into a hydrating moisturizer. If you think that Clinique is not for you, then you're missing out. It's super affordable. You can find it at drug stores um, such as, um, where have I seen this? I've seen this, at, not drug stores like TJ Maxx, Marshalls and stuff like that in their beauty section. They've been coming out with a lot of Clinique stuff there. Um, it's definitely at Ulta, it's definitely at Sephora, it's definitely at Macy's. So if you're into like a quick like moisturizer and you're not sure about these other brands, Clinique's been around for a while as well. So definitely give this one a try. This is a small one to try out. Again, this is the Clinique Moisture Surge 72 hour auto replenishing hydrated. I love this stuff. It just would never get old to me. So that is that. So that was all of the like products that I use daily. So for all of my lovelies out there who have oily skin, this is the Tatcha the Satin Skin Mist. This would be perfect for you. I've tried this a few times and if you've been watching my channel, you know that I don't like a like too too matte look. This is going to give you a matte look. So this is a balancing liquid powder for normal to oily skin. It, normal to oily skin, so if you have dry skin, I would not recommend this, I'm telling you. Because it has this Okinawa, Okinawa Kucha Clay, which purifies the skin by drawing out all impurities, aiding in the reduction of clogging pores and oil buildup. It has a Japanese wild rose and Japanese seagrass, which minimizes the appearance of pores and refines skin texture over time while helping to balance for optical hydration levels. So it has a lot of components in here that helps the skin, but once again, it's drawing out the impurities, it's drawing out oils and all that. So that's why I would suggest for oily skin, you will love this stuff. For dry skin, this may not work for you. For normal skin, it all depends on if you like to look matte or if you like to look more radiant. So again, this is the Tatcha, the Satin Skin Mist. And I love Tatcha packaging. It's super, super luxurious, super chic and just so like expensive like mm. but this one I still have in my collection because some days you just never know and this probably be perfect for the summer to keep off that sweat look or whatever the case may be so that is that all right moving on to some new products so this is the core organics um, turmeric brightening and exfoliating mask it's a two-in-one and what the thing is about this the packaging is super cute right so this one is gonna probably like really exfoliate your skin I haven't opened it yet as you can see, I don't want to because like I said, I have the other, I have the fresh one um, open right now. But this is definitely going to, it's supposed to give you a radiant look, taking off any dryness, taking off any matteness. And like I said, it's a turmeric one. So turmeric is going to help with brightening. So it's going to brighten up that skin, making your skin really even and things of that nature. So again, this is the core organic. Let me know down below if you tried this before, if you've seen this before, you tried it, if you know someone who tried it. Let me know what their results were with that. And here I have a moisturizer. This is the Coda Lee Venal Source Cream SOS Hydration Intense Moisturizer Cream. And it looks like this. This one, I love the sturdiness of Coda Lee. I like Coda Lee products. I love their toner. Their toner is bomb. This smells like it has a light perfume scent to it. Let me just see how it feels. I'm not going to. It's, I haven't opened this one yet either, but let me just see how it feels. It feels really hydrating. It's a little bit on the creamier side, not too thick, still giving you a lightweight feeling. Um, I'm not certain about the, the scent. It smells like, it smells like roses or something. Like it's supposed to be an intense hydrating, like a cream. So it definitely is creamy. I will give it that. But this smell, ooh. It's so strong right now for me. So that's why that's still sitting um, in my collection. On to these two babies. So these are the Glow Recipe Avocado Melt Retinol Eye Sleeping Mask and then the Avocado Melt Retinol Sleep. 
sleeping mask. So one is for eye and one is for face. I was reading that too fast. So one is an eye sleeping mask and the other one is a face sleeping mask. So these bottles are so cute and so adorable. I like the watermelon line that Rogue, the Glow recipe has. So I'm excited to see how the avocado would work. I've heard some things about it. It doesn't have a smell to it. That watermelon one, the watermelon cleanser and face mask, woo, smells really good. This one is like a more of a creamier texture. Oops, I think something, something dropped out. This one's more of a creamy texture, whereas the watermelon line is more of a more liquidy, more loose. So this one I'm excited to try. Comment down below if you tried the avocado line of the Glow Recipe, but this is in my collection as well. So I'm excited to try those sleeping masks because I know the watermelon sleeping mask, my face feels super hydrated, it's super lightweight. This texture is totally different, so I've gotta let you guys know how that one is. And this right here is almost like a body product. This is the um, Sol de Janeiro Cocoa Cabana Cream, and it's the green one, so it's the coconut one. Let me just open it. The original one, the Brazilian Bum Cream, OMG, that smells so good. It smells so good, I use that for my whole body. This one right here, the texture, ooh, it smells so good, I love coconut. Ooh, this smells good. This smells almost like like coconut cream like that I use for my natural hair. This smells really good, you guys. Comment down below if you try this. Ooh, I'm so excited. The texture is a bit different. It's not as thick as the original one in the yellow bottle, which I have. Ooh, this feels nice. Mmm, it's really lightweight, a bit liquidier, like I said. It's more liquid than... The original one so I was quickly able to rub that in if you use too much of the original yellow and white bottle honey you're gonna be rubbing that in for a while because it's a bit thicker oh I like that this is super lightweight okay so I have this I have this and I haven't tried it yet mm. this smells bomb okay I like that one I like that one I have two serums here one is the tart Mar maracuja oil and the Josie Marin argon bright skin vitamin c serum this one helps with dark spots so if you are into dark spots and trying to get rid of those that's what this is for i actually got this um to give to someone so that's why i have that so that's why i never opened it but the tart maracuja oil i hear so many things about i haven't tried this yet i have this size and like a little mini one that came with a set that i had back in the day i don't even know where it is but a little travel size one so i'm excited to try this let me just see how it feels you know, all this stuff on my hand okay so it's just simple oh it gives you a nice radiant hydrated look doesn't have a smell just smells really clean yeah definitely check out the maracuja oil let me know if you tried this I'm excited to see how this will look under my makeup or even just add it in my skincare regimen especially since we're getting into those colder months these colder months and colder days you definitely want to have some serum up under that moisturizer girl and the last two products that I haven't tried they've been sitting in my cupboard over here um, this is the Murad hydration prebiotic 4-in-1 multi cleanser and the prebiotic 3-in-1 multi mist so they look like this and Murad is a skincare line that helps with all types of skincare concerns this Step one is the cleanser and step two, let's see. Actually, this is step four in the back. Step four says boost, this is a spray. But step one is a cleanser. It's a four in one hydrating cleanser that removes dirt, excess oil, makeup while replenishing with prebiotics. You can use it AM and evening and then you wanna uh, rinse and pack dry. So it's basically like keeping a barrier on your skin from the pollution of the air, from the environment that you may live in or things like that while keeping your skin's elastic elasticity um, really energized and really brightening and just being you know really natural and glowy so that's what that's for so this is that the cleanser and the uh, spray this spray can be used to replenish makeup prime or set it supposedly so these are interesting to try I love the color of the bottle so that's exciting to see that and that is all of my skincare products that I have hauled for you guys some I've used before so I was able to tell you a little bit more some I've never used but if you've tried any of the products that I have never used definitely let me know down below let's chat it up down in the comment section below and until next time love peace and beauty I'll see you guys in my next video bye